All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. The pipe room has been updated, and here it is. Um, it looks amazing. It looks better than I ever expected, to be honest. Uh, when we first saw it, it was just four pipes going up and then through the roof. It was nothing like this. Now, there are certain parts like here um, that aren't connected, but obviously they're still working on it. So, um don't expect this to be finalized anytime soon uh it looks really cool that is the first orange like uh screen thing we have seen and that looks cool within itself and then it comes all the way down here so my assumption is that there will be like more tanks or um tables or whatever there may be down here and then eventually in the future there should be peepers going through all these pipes or um, water flowing maybe that'd be really cool a really cool effect so it's a really good visual for what we were talking about uh, last episode and that was the hero peeper and how it carries enzyme from the sea emperor into all the different um, biomes to you know keep the life still living if it wasn't for the peepers going through these pipes and being trained to carry the enzymes all life on the planet would be destroyed or killed by the Karar. Um, so definitely a really good visual representation of it. Uh, can't wait to see it done. And if there's going to be any animations and peepers going through it, it'll be really cool. Um, so the next thing we have to talk about is the Ghost Force now has a teleporter cache. So I will see you guys there. All right, guys, so we are in the ghost forest here. Um, the cache is actually right next to the blood kelp entrance right here, right up on top. So if you come over to the left side here, there's this little waterfall, and it is actually right behind the waterfall. So if we go in here, um, there are the two normal totems. The waterfall is coming right down in front of it, and there's the normal... Uh, barrier that makes you walk So let's check this out because I haven't seen any of this and so far. It looks pretty cool um, I do like I always say this, but I really wish they could blend in the moss a little better, but the roots are really cool Ooh, What is this? This is really cool seeing that like a tree in here And then the acidic brine. I wonder what's over there. It's probably nothing Let's walk up here, over into here. How big is this? Oh wow, so the tree continues over here. That looks really cool. Oh, we're actually, oh, that's cool. You loop around, huh? All right, so this is where the teleporter will be. There is still the dev script on the teleporter. Um, so it will be in eventually, but uh, this is the ghost forest cache uh it's very similar to the craig field and the um mushroom forest one so um now the next thing we have to talk about which you guys all love is the ghost leviathan the ghost leviathan has had some changes they have upped the size and they have um changed the animations for the tail they added a trail manager i believe it's called uh, so it's looking pretty good. We will uh, spawn it in here Once we get out into the open Also, uh, the developers were talking on the discord the other day and even though that the ghost leviathan was Initially made for the lost river. They don't know if they will be able to have it spawn in there because of its size So it is much bigger now it is actually bigger than a reaper and longer than the sea dragon however the sea dragon is still chunkier um if the sea dragon didn't have those extra pounds um this thing would definitely compete for size uh so the tail actually looks it looks better but there are still like kinks in it like right here it looks really good but when you go sharp it's a little wonky still before when he used to turn uh, it used to actually just like go straight so it is quite a bit bigger um, 
I will show a screenshot right now. It has all of the size differences of the Leviathans. There's the Reaper, the Ghost, there's even the Reefback, and then there is the Sea Dragon. Um, as you can see, the Sea Dragon is slightly thicker than the Ghost Leviathan, but um, if it wasn't for that, they would definitely compete for size. Um, the developers did say that if they did scale it back down to its first size, it could probably fit in the Lost River. However, um, it doesn't seem like they are going to be doing that. So a lot of people are saying to put it in the Grand Reef. Uh, he just went through the world. All right. Um, so the best bet right now looks like it'll be in the Grand Reef. Another reason why they kind of want to not put it in the Lost River is because everything in the Lost River is already transparent and very similar to the Ghost Leviathan, and they want the Ghost Leviathan to stick out and be unique. Also, they don't want it to distract from the Lost River base and all the story-driven um, content in the Lost River. So, it looks, hopefully, maybe the Grand Reef? We'll see. Alright guys, one last thing that I keep forgetting about uh, is now when you open your PDA on the bottom left, it shows numbers. So your health, your food, and your water now have numbers when you open the PDA. It has a cool little spinning animation and I really like that they added this. It's a really good way to compromise with how it is now and with or for those people who want the numbers. So that is all I have for you guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you aren't a current subscriber, be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all of the news and content for Subnautica I will be covering. And as always guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.